in that um... This may look very odd, burning a perfectly good log. In fact, all we're doing, we're just charring the end of the log that's going to go into the ground. And our idea here is basically is an ancient idea used by the Greeks and by the Egyptians. And it's to char the surface, likely, burn off the sugars, and it actually acts as a wood preservative. It's organic, it's natural. So we thought we'd give it a go as we are making a nice big frame and we want to sink this post down. So we've got a nice crazed surface now and that's actually what we're trying to get. It's a little bit like a crocodile skin, I suppose. And it's charred now all round, so that's basically killed any bugs that were on there. It's given us this nice charcoal barrier. Of course, charcoal is used as a filter for lots of things. So we've got a nice protective barrier all around this. And it's probably also killed all the sugars that the fungus like to live off of. So it's a win-win all round. It's not cost anything. We've just got rid of our rubbish, basically, and burnt it to get this log. And we're now going to have a nice cup of tea. This log is actually, it's being prepared. It's going to be buried, obviously, in the ground at this end. And it's being prepared for a cleaving break. So for cleaving bits of chestnut, etc. I'm going to make a frame out of it. And it'd be very useful to have it for holding bits of wood while you work on them with an axe or with a throw to split them. I think it might rain, but I think we've got enough residual heat now. We have a nice cover. Well, here the posts buried in the ground. So our break that we're making is getting well underway. And you can see we've put the burnt charred wood down the bottom there. So we'll see how that goes and see if this cheap new form of wood preservative works. I think some people would probably say we need to coat the wood with tar to actually stop water getting in. But let's, let's see what happens. The Temple of Diana was built this way, so why shouldn't we? Anyway, hope you've enjoyed watching that one and thanks for watching.